the next topic we're going to discuss on Boxing Bros, who did better against Canelo? Was it Caleb Plant or Edgar Belanga? Now, you remember in one of the early uh, press conferences, Edgar Belanga made these comments and it sparked a feud between Edgar Belanga and Caleb Plant. We're going to uh, listen to the comments. and You can have all the power in the world. You can do what you do. But at this level is intelligence and IQ. And we're not going to end up like that. Fuck nigga over there. I got knocked out. Caleb. All right. All right. I <laughs> see Caleb Plant there. Yeah. Uh, yeah, right. I will call now. With Belanga. So Belanga said he wasn't going to end up like uh, Caleb Plant. That's who he was referencing again. Sorry for the language. Uh, and, and, and unfortunately, man, you know, blessings to G. We miss you, G. G uh, used to edit out all the cuss words uh, on the podcast, but you know now, you know we're we're working on that. But if you listen to the podcast, unfortunately, the the, the colorful language may still be in there. So I said, so we apologize for the language. All right. So now we're going to take a listen to what Caleb Plant said after the fight in regards to uh, Edgar Belenga's performance when they asked Caleb Plant what he thought of the fight between Canelo and Berlanga. So um, let me show this is up. It, the audio isn't the best, so you're going to have to really listen closely to hear what Caleb Plant says. Just wanted to know, obviously you spoke about Canelo potentially, you know, as doing the math and being your next opponent or an opponent you would like to get in the ring with in the near future. What were your thoughts on his fight with Berlanga, and what did you think about Berlanga's performance as well? Yeah, I mean, it was a good fight. Uh, you know, Berlanga, you know, nice behavior, he really went around. Uh, he was on the defense a lot. But, uh, yeah, you know, being Canelo, being Berlanga, being a Charlo, you know, I think those are three, uh, three fights that the boxing world above, and three of the fights that I thought were doing as well. So basically, if, if you didn't hear what he said, because it was kind of low, the uh, audio wasn't good. He said not to be a hater, but but Belenga didn't win any round. He didn't win a single round. And he was on a defensive. So that's what uh, Caleb Plant said. He went on to say that a fight with uh, a rematch with Canelo, a fight with Belenga, and a fight with uh, Jam- Jamal Charlo would be good fights for him. So true dollar bill. Throwing it to you. Who do you think did better against uh, Canelo Alvarez? Uh, Caleb Plant or Edgar Belenga? The guy who did it first. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> the guy who did it first, uh, Caleb Plant. The reason why I say Caleb Plant, too, is that, like, Belenga is right. Y'all, you didn't end up like Caleb Plant. Y'all didn't get knocked out. <laughs> you, know, you know what I'm saying? You didn't, you didn't end up like Caleb Plant. You didn't get knocked out. You're absolutely right. Um, but you did... Uh, touched the canvas and but you didn't win a round like Caleb Plant did. Caleb Plant went several rounds and was uh leading on some people's court scorecards and when the stoppage came. Um also is I don't think you took as much chances as Caleb Plant did. You know, Caleb Plant took a lot of more chances in that fight. But Styles makes fights and you fought which way you thought would be best for you. Um, you did show, uh, uh, a lot more, uh, you wasn't, uh, of awe of Canelo. That's another thing that I would give you. You were still in there talking trash. You, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Let's go. You know what I'm saying? You know, being, being, you know, being a warrior, being that Puerto Rican warrior. You know what I'm saying? Well, he, even, he even caught him with the sucker hook when Canelo yeah. thought the round was over. <laughs> yeah, you, know you know, he was in there trying to show the uh, the champion no respect other than what Caleb, uh, Caleb Plant was doing there. Caleb Plant was trying to get validation. You know? <laughs> <laughs> like, not too bad, huh? Not too shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? With our on your top opponents list. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Um... So yeah, I would have to say who did who did better, even though he was stopped. I have to say Caleb did better because he won rounds and he uh 
actually, uh, I, I would say, brought it to Canelo a little bit more. But, you know, Edgar did make a point. He lasts all 12 rounds, you know, and he didn't get stopped. But you didn't win a round. So I have to give it to Caleb. At least Caleb was winning some rounds, and he was actually uh, winning on some people's scorecards uh, leading up to the stoppage. Yeah, I think you make a great point. It really boils down to how you view it. So if you view the fight as who made it the distance and who didn't get knocked out, then you're going to say Belanga. But if you feel like who went out and tried to win and who actually was in the fight, then you're going to say Caleb Plant. For me, it's not enough just to survive to the 12th round. It's about how you perform. I don't think that Belanga turned in a bad performance. I I salute Belanga's performance. I think Belanga did a great job. I think Belanga did better than most people thought. If everyone's being honest, you know, I know everyone likes to act like they're the perfect predictor who can never get anything wrong. And there's somehow some expert. Like I always said, there's no experts. There are people who have knowledge of the sport. And based on your knowledge of the sport, you can get more right than you get wrong. But no one's an expert and nobody knows everything when it comes to the sport of boxing. And in my case, I thought Berlinga would get knocked out. I didn't think Berlinga would be able to survive, and he survived. So for that, he exceeded expectations. Now, when it comes to Caleb Plant, Caleb Plant was champion, and he was undefeated, and Caleb Plant went in there and tried to keep his belt, and he got knocked out. To me, there's no shame in getting knocked out, and there's no shame in losing. It's about how you lose. I've always stated this because people act like you have to be undefeated in order to be successful. Canelo just packed him in. He has two L's. You just saw how the crowd was. Manny Pacquiao used to pack him in. He had several losses. It's not really about L's. Anthony Joshua was still the biggest draw in the heavyweight division. Why? Because although he loses, he loses in competitive fights. Although he loses, he's, lo- he's lost to the best. And he went in there and he gave it his all. And that's what people care about. And so, yeah, Caleb Plant lost to Canelo. And, yeah, he lost to David Benavidez. But listen to what I just said. Canelo and Benavidez, two really great fighters, two of the best in his division. He went in there and he lost to them. But look at what he's done to other fighters in his division, like Anthony Durrell, like he just did to McCumbie. McCumbie was in there putting it on Caleb Plant, dropped Caleb Plant. And Caleb Plant showed boxing IQ. He got on the inside. I saw him in camp with Andre Ward. You know, you saw uh, the picture of Caleb Plant with Andre Ward. I wonder if Ward taught him some inside fighting because it was Ward-esque what he was doing to (laughs) Yeah, when he started getting on the inside and putting in that work on the inside. I'm like, my man is looking a little like Andre Ward. So he showed high boxing IQ. Some people may say, oh, it was lackluster, but he's been off for two years too which shows the importance of uh, staying active and everything. But for me, Caleb Plant did the better job because Caleb Plant was actually in the fight. Caleb Plant was trying to win. He did everything he could do to win, and he got knocked out. To me, the fans would rather see you get knocked out trying to win than see you being defensive trying to survive 12. That's what Charlo did against Canelo. I think Berlinga tried to win. He just couldn't. So I don't think he was defensive, as Caleb Plant said. I think, excuse me, Belenga went for his, but Canelo was just too good, too skilled, too powerful. But I think Belenga went for his, and he also took way more punishment going for his than Charlo did. So I don't want to put him in that category as someone who's extremely defensive, who didn't try to win. But I think that Caleb Plant actually was in the fight. So for that reason, I think he did a better job. Let us know how you feel in the comment section. Please like and subscribe. Check us out on Instagram and Twitter. And please check out our podcast on all major streaming services. I'm the commissioner, Trill Dollar Bills. My brother, Caden, is LLG for life. And we the box.